Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will see about uh, mantle test. Mantle test is named from the from the scientist name uh, Nathan Mantle. Uh, that is extremely versatile statistical test that has uh, many uh, uses, even including the spatial analysis. And the concept of the mantle test is examine the relationship between two square mat matrices, often the distance matrices of the X and uh, Y. So it's just in simple uh, way, it allows us for what for a comparison or to check whether it is correlated or not between the two uh, matrices. So I already imported my data and uh, it contained 58 uh, uh, columns and out of that, the first 40 columns are the, vegeta the vegetation covered by different plant species. And again, the remaining uh, starting from the column 41 end with uh, uh, column 58 is considered as a, a, a soil uh, character or environmental factor. As you can see, it stands from here, and N stands for nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, sulfur. So these are the uh, environmental factors or the soil uh, chemical uh, properties. So I split uh, the VEG means it is our data name. I split this VEG. The first 40 columns as uh, to consider as a vegetation, a vegetation cover and the remaining 41 up to 58 columns uh, split it into the soil uh, chemical uh, property then uh, you have to you have to just uh, uh, subset into a distance uh, matrix and again you have to use the uh, uh, break cartes dissimilarity uh, test in order to um, check the distance matrix. So you have to use this uh, function. Then again, vegetation cover means the name that I give this one from the VEG uh, data starting from the column 140 is represented, represented by a vegetation cover. Then the method of checking the distance matrix is uh, Bray Curtis, which is uh, the form of Bray. So type uh, this one. And again, um, okay, I didn't run this one. Yeah, let's submit this. Let's do this. Then run uh, this one. Uh, then you have to scale all the environmental uh, parameters. In our case, the, our environmental parameters are, it's obvious, it's what is the soil uh, chemical uh, property like this one, like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, uh, calcium, magnesium, sulfur, and uh, uh, the remaining uh, uh, heavy metals as well. So you have to scale, uh, as you are I think, familiar with the concept of scaling. So then you have to use the function uh, scale, then here the soil chemical uh, property, then center is equal to true, a scale is equal to true, and I represented all this uh, code into what? Into S, S. So type this and fit you are uh, software. Then again, you have to use uh, distance matrix for the environmental factors, uh, the Euclidean uh, distance. And here you have to use the dist function. Then SS means the scale of the environmental parameters or environmental variables. It's obviously our, it's our soil. A chemical property. So I'll type this and submit to our uh, studio. Then immediately uh, you can compute the mantle test using the mantle uh, function. And here V stands for what? V stands for a vegetation cover and what we did here and the distance matrix between the vegetation cover of the different species are uh, the method that are used is what uh, the Bray and you have to just come here V then S means it is the combined of all environmental variables you can use one variable or two variable or three variable depend on preference but I use the combining of all environmental variables as one then I just uh, see whether it is uh, correlated or not then the method of uh, correlation is Spearman. Then the number of permutations is uh, 
around 10,000 and uh, and edit our aim is just to remove any uh, missing value if it's found in our uh, data. So type this and submit to our studio then immediately uh, run uh, this one. So as you can see here uh, the let's yeah as you can see here the monthly statics is 0 0.3 and it is a correlation with the value and uh, it is uh, significant as you can see here it is uh, significant which means it is uh, 0 0.0006 so one thing is over here if a monthly test is significant or a significant monthly test is tell you that the distance between sample of in one matrix are what correlated are correlated uh, with what the distance between sample of what in other uh, matrix therefore as the distance between sample as the distance between sample increases with respect to the first or the one uh, matrix the distance between uh, the same sample also increases what in uh, other uh, matrix so in short a significant mental test uh, tell you that the distance between sample in one matrix are correlated with the distance between sample of what the uh, other uh, matrix so by this way you can uh, you can uh, compute a mental uh, test as i mentioned before just to check the relationship or the correlation of two matrix x and uh, y so we've seen uh, this one is the first the second matrix is uh, soil uh, chemical property and the first one is the uh, species of vegetation cover of different different species so let's use again the geographical uh, the geographic distance uh, matrix in order to compute this one you have to use the package geosphere geosphere so let's combine from our data from a big data we have a longitude as well as we have a latitude so we will combine this using the data frame function into geo then again you have to use the uh, their uh, geographic data frame in order to measure the distance matrix you have to use the uh, harvest sign uh, distance uh, the harvest sign uh, distance so any name you can give any name that you want here and you have to use it is a distance function then you have to indicate geo geo means it is a combination of uh, latitude and uh, longitude and this data is already found in our uh, in our uh, uh, data then the function is dist harvest sign so type this and submit to our studio then again you have to convert into uh, a distance matrix and into to computation so again you have to run this uh, code so let's see the vegetation cover and their uh, geographic pattern whether they are correlated or not so simply you can give any name that you want then you have to use the function mantle then v means it's what our vegetation uh, cover and this geo means it was it's contain the uh, distance matrix of what both the latitude as well as the longitude then the method is similar the experiment the permutation is similar and an uh, error which 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 means it's to remove any missing value so type this and submit to our studio yeah yeah still it is uh, significance even the correlation is 0 0.23 so by this way you can also compute for a for a geographical pattern for both latitude and uh, longitude furthermore if you are interested on one variable let's say nitrogen here so you have to scale uh, you have to use the function scale and select the parameters that you want to do let's say here is nitrogen so i will select nitrogen from uh, soil characteristics uh, data or from the uh, veg from veg uh, data both will yield the same result so let's use the uh, uh, first one so type this and submit to our studio and the previous one if you remember this is the previous one it is what for all uh, environmental 
uh, variables that we have but here we will use only what nitrogen then uh, come here and you just you have to put uh, a Euclidean uh, measurement it is obvious it's, which is for the soil uh, uh, nitrogen so type this and send it to our studio then again immediately we will compute what the mental uh, test so here is the mantle you have to use a function mantle then v it is what it is vegetation cover of different plant species then s e means it is what uh, s e means it is the this this one that means s s2 means it's only what one variable from the listed environmental variable so that variable name is nitrogen then we immediately scale that variable using a scale of function. Then again, we use the distance uh, uh, matrix by using of what? Euclidean. Then we feed this value to this one. So SE stands for what? For nitrogen variable only. And all things are the same. So type this and submit to our studio. Let's run this. So still it is uh, significant, which is 0 0.01. So by this way, we can compute mental test uh, using our software. So if you have any question regarding to any statistical uh, concept, uh, provide your question, your suggestion, your uh, constructive uh, comment to my YouTube uh, uh, channel. So thank you for watching. Have a nice time.